Okay, this is going to replace the how to draft. Looking back, that was a little archaic. And this will be the first in a series of how to draft. And we're going to be redoing problems in class that maybe we do one particular way and show you how the real way goes. Um, even though there's all kinds of real ways, so don't get kind of too bent up until we list out what the kind of real important gotta do's are. And the one gotta do is you gotta set your your environment correct, and you gotta pick the right template. You hear, you notice here, this is very similar to what you have, but this is a decimal template. And you're gonna notice when I do this, the difference between what is listed here, right down here, and what comes up. So I'm gonna hit open there. This is a home version of AutoCAD, so you get that, and don't get wigged out by that. When that comes up, we're going to ignore the references here. I don't have things set up at home, and we're going to always go to the model. I'm going to let that paper throw us, so we've got something there. We're going to know that we've got a lot of different layers, so we never want to lose all of our layers or our toolbar, so we type minus toolbar, and me at home, you will know that on a recurrent basis, I will forget to turn on my wireless keyboard. I am drafting on an iMac computer with uh, Windows Vista. I'm sorry, yeah, Windows Vista. Um, it's about a 2.18 gigahertz um, nice machine. It's not the newest or greatest, about two years old, but it does run. It's got two gig of memory in it. So I'm going to type here now minus. And perhaps this weekend I'll set up what's called a login script for AutoCAD. And a login script for AutoCAD would be something just every time you logged in, it would go through to set all these things up. So minus toolbar. And of course, you don't need this. Eventually, you could just go over here and click on that, but I can't at home. Minus toolbar. And my my keyboard is not working for me. Turn it off and on again. I apologize. I won't cut these down. The editing it takes to do these, I'll just keep them to 10 minutes. The editing it takes is not a lot of time, but as soon as we get students in class that want to learn a little bit about video, we'll start cutting them down and have you cut them down. So I'm going to pause this here until I get that toolbar to work. All right. Toolbar seems to be working. Draw. Show. You notice here, since it's having show on, you don't not you do not need to type show, but I will anyway. It turns on the toolbar. You right click on any toolbar to get another set of toolbars. We're going to turn on the modify. That ends, ends up being all the way on the right, and we're going to turn on the layers. And I don't need this screen real estate. We'll bring it back when we need to. So I'm going to click that back up here, and I have a larger view here. All right. You're going to see we didn't do it in class. You can do it prior or after. But this here is your layers toolbar. And this toolbar here is how you set the current layer you're drafting on. So you don't always have to do it first, and we're not going to concentrate on that. But we're going to go ahead and put on layer view before we do our first real step, which is to draw a box. So I'm clicking rectangle there. I am not reading what it's asking me in this case. I'm just going to say at 20 comma 20. Because I am in decimal units, that's going to be 20 by 20 units, whatever those units are, feet or meters or millimeters or whatever. I double click on the middle hot mouse. I hit escape, 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 Z space, E space. Realistically, I'm just doing Z space, E space, zoom extents, and I'm wheeling out once. All right, you're always drafting a box bigger than the thing you're going to draft. This is a series of pieces, as you can see. And I'm going to point out right here, before we go on, we want to make sure that all these are off on a regular basis and then that are, they are not at least when I'm around, the icons are not there because you can see better if the icons are not on. We now want to take this thing apart. Explode is right over there, but it's also a very easy command. It's X for explode. So we select with the left click, we hit an X. 
Now these are one, two, three, four pieces. And we remember we click on something and type li. We'll go through these in class, these commands that you start to accumulate. Very smartly, as soon as you make that box, you might say minus V for view, W for window, P-L-O-T-V-I-E-W, shift, right click, endpoint, shift, right click, endpoint. And now, in fact, what you have, if you zoom out anywhere, now if you type V for view, you can go to plot view, set current, and it jumps back to there. And you need to wheel out a little bit there. All right. Draw a box bigger than the thing you're going to draw. Set up your camera. And then establish strong baseline. So I'm going to establish baselines two units. So I'm going to go offset. I only have two choices here, distance or through. I'm going to go actually two for a distance and I'll talk about where two there and two there. Offset fillet, F for fillet. It's set with a radius of zero so you don't have to change it. You click what you want here, here. So you establish strong, establish strong baselines. And one, you establish lines of symmetry. And if you notice in the piece that we drafted the other day, there's a line of symmetry at that is at five and a half. So we're going to offset 5.5. .5. Take that out here and put it there. Now you notice visually your mind might get a little bit screwed up here. So for some of you, you might want to offset 11 in a second and just so you're dealing with the piece itself and offset 7 here. I'm going to point out right now how important it is to early, as early as possible, develop, develop use of color. And so the way we're going to use color is not by changing quote unquote the color of things, but by changing their layer. I can do that by going, turning on the quick property actually. That one right there is probably not a bad one to learn to use. I left click, left click, and you notice here we have a number of different things, but for these things I can go and change the layer and we're going to change the layer to object. Now that's a screw up, it's not a big screw up on my part but we have to remember that when we get going and I need to set the template up so that all layers, I'm going to click that, that's the layer command. When I click on this right there it brings up a big interface and this interface has a lot of suns and um, suns and light bulbs and they all need to be on when you're starting to draft that's an important aspect of a lot of things the layering so keeping track of the layering and now you notice there I really don't want that old box so I'm going to left click on it and type erase E for erase or hit the delete key and I'm back to here I want to now put that left click on that and change its layer to center line and you start to see how important color gets to you. All right, now here is how you draft. Watch, offset, 11, here to here. Offset, seven, here to here. Fill it, grab what I wanna keep. Spacebar remembers the fill it, grab what I wanna keep. I've now established spacebar. Grab what I want to keep. I've now established what is called a bounding box. Now I'm going to offset one. Offset. I'm going to do U for undo or this one right up here because in fact I wanted 1.5. Offset 1.5. Escape, escape, because offset, one point, got to use the point, point five. Offset, three point 
two five offset space three point two five they've actually got voice recognizers believe it or not all right I'm gonna stop it here and pick it up on the second ten minutes and you'll have gotten pretty far thanks for listening